In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the BVH motion file format. We have a BVH motion file here. It can be viewed by the Notepad application. So we select right click, select opened, and select the program from a list of the installed program. Here you can find the Notepad application and click OK. Then you can view the content of the BVH motion file using Notepad. The file consists of two parts. The first part describes the skeleton hierarchy. Here, the character has a hip joint, which is the pelvis. The hip joint is followed by the upper leg, lower leg, foot, and toes. The end side means the end of the toe joint. And the hip is also followed by the spine. And the spine is followed by the upper spine, the head, and the end of the head. The spine, apart from followed by the head, is also followed by the left shoulder. You can see that everything is defined hierarchically. You notice that um, the hip joint is being special because it has six parameters in each frame. We have three parameters for the XYZ position and three parameters for the XYZ rotation. However, for other joints, such as the legs, we only have the three parameters for the ZXY rotation. This value corresponds to the second part of the motion file, which is the motion data. Each line represents a posture or a frame in the motion file. For example, the, the first parameter here represents the X position of the hips, while the second parameter represents the Y position of the hips, followed by the Z position of the hips. The fourth parameters of a frame represents the C, C rotation, which is the rotation in the C direction, and then is the rotation of the X direction for the hips and the Y position of the hips. We have a lot of different frames of posture here. All for each of them, the first three represents the position, and the position of the hips represent the position of the host character, and the rest represent the rotation. What we wish to do is to zero the rotation for the character. For the first frame, this is because at the first frame, we wish it to be clearly visible such that we can import the movement to Motion Builder with an easy visualization of the hierarchy structure of the skeleton. So what we do here is that we will zero the rotation for all the joints. This is an interesting parameter. It comes with a character E. This is another type of numerical representation. It actually means a very small value, which is very close to zero. The whole thing stands for one numerical value.
now all the joints rotation has been zeroed. We save the movement as a different file, motion 01A dot BVH. Notice that notepad by default saved the file in the .txt format. So we use a double quotation um, to specify that the file will be saved as a .bvh format. Now we have two motion files. We go back to motion builder. Select file, motion file import. And select the original motion file. And click open. Here in this window, we have information such as sampling weight and number of frames. We click import. Now we can see that this is a boss in motion. The first frame is not exactly a T pose. The arms is slightly tilted, which is not good when we try to map it to a character later on. Now we import the motion that we have added. Is exactly the same motion, but the first frame now is a clear T, -t pose because we have zeroed all the rotational components in the posture.